o'clock news, this is Alan King. Two beautiful stories in the news. The first one, of course, the story about the royal family. And if you're going to be a member of the royal family, you're going to be ill, it's far better to be a horse, because they apparently treat their horses better than they treat their relatives. And I am intrigued at the stupidity of Jon Snooker player Alex Higgins saying, after being banned for six months for butting a bloke, that he's going to come back fighting. Alan Bessie. Let's hope he wins next time. Good evening, Bezik with you till two. We start the evening with Peter Gabriel, as you no doubt have recognised by now. I can never tell whether they've ended or not when they stop all of a sudden in mid something. It's too much for me. Have you got a car? Have you been to Wigan? Then I might be able to give you some money. That's not it. Hang on. I've got a bit of paper here. Don't go away. Well, there's nowhere to go, is there really? It's everywhere. Shut. Here we go. Now then, if you've, if you've got a car and you live in Wigan, well, if you've got a car at all, but particularly if you live in Wigan, then get yourself a Red Rose Radio car sticker. Because this week we're giving some of it away, a fiver to all the cars that have been spotted. Or some of the cars that have been spotted, I'm going to commit to myself then, to about a grillion pounds. To some of the cars that have been spotted with a Red Rose Radio car sticker in the Wigand. And today's, I get the dregs of course, because we've already done them today, but two of them are FKB543Y, that's the registration number, Fox Crop. Foxtrot King Bravo 543 Yankee. If that's your car, then you need to ring in tomorrow between 9 and 5 and claim a fiver. And if you've got Baker 828 Yankee Dog Mother, that's B828YDM, then ring in tomorrow twixt 9 and 5 and claim your fiver. But we will ask you to tell us something about the motor car, like what sort it is and what colour it is, because otherwise you'll be swizzing us. And we're not made of money, you know. So, if them's your cars, give us a ring tomorrow. Is it true or not that you are the Nissan man? Oh, come on, down, 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 down to St. George's Center. David Kelsall of Woodtop Farm Goosner's got a computer. How do I know this? I'll tell you. He, he ordered, commanded, I think the posh term is, to his commuter to put please on his letter so he ended up with dozens of the damn things but he made a big mistake he didn't count them if he's not going to count them i'm damned if i am so there he wants me to say how do to 14 million people it seems like that anyway so how do to all them people from david kelsall of woodtop farm gooznag or goosner as some would have it correctly too This is Aretha Franklin, according to the label. I have no other way of checking. This is all very well, but there's no such thing as a freeway, is there? I mean, it's not like France, where they make all them froggies pay to go on the motorway. But it's still not free, even in America. I mean, you've got to pay taxes for the damn thing, so why do they call it a freeway? I'll tell you why. Because they're American, and Americans are stupid. A far, far better furniture store. Edmondson's of Blackburn, a far, far better furniture store. For lounge, dining room and bedroom furniture. For famous names and quality carpets. For all home furnishings. Edmondson's offers choice. Edmondson's gives first-class service. And Edmondson's guarantees value for money. All round a far, far better furniture store. At Darwin Street, Blackburn. A far, far better furniture store. Away, away, on an Avalon holiday. We'll all have fun lying in the sun on an Avalon holiday. A 
Avalon Travel in conjunction with DFDS Seaways invite you to Legoland, a holiday packed with adventure and fun for all the family. Departing the 28th of June on a four-day mini-cruise, staying in superb hotel accommodation. You'll have a holiday of a lifetime in Denmark and with your visit to Legoland. The price just £109 all in. This holiday is on a first-come, first-served basis, so hurry before it's too late. Ring Avalon Travel now on Bolton 398 788. 7-8-8-7-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-8-
Mason is one of the weirdest creatures you could be fortunate not to meet. He resides, I feel you ought to be warned, in the Lambs Road area of Thornton Cleveleys. How do I know he's a reprobate? Well, I shall tell you. I have here a very slim volume. I have what can only be described as a, a sliver of his record collection. But if this is anything to go by, then his record collection is a heap of dross, because he has supplied this evening's crap track. And this evening's crap track is by somebody called Ralph Reader, who on the cover of the record looks remarkably like an out-of-work snooker player. There you are. We almost look like something. Ralph Reader, who I've never heard of, has a song called Who Wants a Reason? We're not playing that one. We're playing the B-side, which is called Something Else Entirely. I'm going to have had a look at it, I'll tell you. I can't see it from here. In fact, I think I've put who wants a reason on Oh, well, never mind. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, Little Drops of Water is the B, the A side. We're playing the B side, who wants a reason. I must admit, I've never heard it, but we'll see. I'm required to say I'll do to Slime and Snarl and Rave Dave... Slick Rick and Wurzel. Would you believe that I actually earn my living doing this? Sitting here, reading out these stupid names for stupid people whilst linking into diabolical records. It's no way to turn a crust, you know. I mean, it can depress you. It does depress me at times. However, I can console myself in the knowledge that I've now waffled long enough for me to be able to say, Hey, up, it's 10.30. Daytime, nighttime, anytime, but sometime, visit the New Market and M2 Market, Waterloo Road, Blackpool. Well, don't say you weren't warned. Have you got a bit of paper and a pen? Yes? Good. I'll tell you a question for the writing competition in a moment's time. Well, it's probably more than a moment, to be honest. You've got to listen to the whole of this record. Well, not the whole, the black bit around the outside. The old doesn't actually say anything. Other than... Ooh. What? Well, you would just taste of mint. So are you ready? With writing com this week's prize for the writing competition is the top five singles from the network chart which is presented between five and seven on a Sunday by the raving Canuck however the question is simple enough because it is aimed at you after all what we want to know is how many furlongs are they in a mile count them as the horses run in in the television in the afternoon. Sit there and watch them and go one, two, and however many it is. And then write down your answer on a bit of paper and send it to me with your name and address. But with my name and address as well, otherwise you won't get in, will it? It's Alan Bezik, Red Rose Radio, P.O. Box 301, Preston, P.R. 1, 1, Y.E. Now I think that's easy enough. And again, you may disagree. However, how many furlongs in a mile? How do Jim? Jim lives in Prenton Lane, Prenton, Birkenhead. I'm going to Birkenhead soon. I'm, I'm going to do a Bezic at large at the Pleasure Dome. I saw the Pleasure Dome on the telly tonight. It looks hardly like the kind of place where one would find my good self. However, I'm doing it. Doing an argue with Alan. I think it's on May the 3rd. But if you ring the Pleasure Dome and ask them, they'll tell you. I don't know how much it is to get in. They'll know, cos I don't. But I'll be there. Birkenhead Pleasure Dome. I think it's May the 3rd. Argue with Alan. I'm going into what can only be described as the Lion's Den. But I'm sure you'll look after me. Anyway, this person, Jim, lives there. 
not in the Pleasure Dome, but in Prenton Lane, which is quite a pleasure for him, I'm sure. How do to everybody at Birkenhead School, which is the quickest way of dealing with that. And Allbridge Gardens in Upholland, good old Lancashire town, Upholland. Jonathan Glover resides thereupon, or therein, if you prefer. He wants me to say hello to about at least 11 people I'm not about to, but if you know Jonathan Glover, the chances are you've had a mention in this. No, not the record, in the letter, you divvy. And where in the name of God do you get purple writing paper from? Makes you want to chuck up. This, this, this is mass-produced for undertakers. We're very sorry that your husband's dead. Send us £9,000 and we'll dig an hole for him. Well, they've got to eat, haven't they? Well, that was very pretty, wasn't it? He sort of drivelled on gently. There's only one can hope. Here is 20 pence for the Beswick Rolls Royce friend. This is how you endear yourself to me. Phil Cropper, who falls over a lot. And he's always coming a cropper, I'm sorry. Of Cultures near Warrington wants me to mention him. So I have. He also wants me to mention Melanie and Nicky and Matt and Claire and Polo and Simon. And I'm also required by Mark Babbitt of Ratcliffe to say hello to Jason in Longridge and Zanita and Margaret. Zanita and Margaret don't seem to go well together. Chris Hillage of Matthew Drive in Atherton wants me to say hello to himself and to Anthony and Neil and Billy and Eddie and Roach. If you were to Roach... No, I won't do that. A lot. Oh. I could do with a D. Oh, yes, please. I could do without this. Bye, love. That's mine. Dreams cancelled. Right. I could do with a D. Never made it. Oh. It's your battery. Bye, love. I could do without taxi. All quit. Late, Sally. I could do with a D. I need my D. I could do with a D. For a refreshing cup of tea. I could do with a D. D revives you. Ring him if you dare. Alan Bensick, the late night show. The lines are now open on Preston 561000. Our Alice is taking your calls. 0772 561000. Nine minutes to 11. Well, that was a boring little song, wasn't it? Catherine Stock, she should have stuck to making ox so cute. Night time, the right time. Let everybody know you've turned on to Red Rose Radio. How do you, Pete? Can you tell me why I'm Phil Salmon? Yes, you are. I don't know why you are. I don't have any desire to tell you. I have even less desire to speak to you. Goodbye. How did Jason? Hello, Alan. How much do you want for it? Nothing, thanks. No, no, seriously. How badly damaged is it? It isn't damaged. It's, yes, it it's is. It's in pristine yes, it is. condition. No, it's not. You threw it down your garden and I wondered how much you wanted for it. Oh, that. <laughs> Actually, it's not very funny, but it went wonky today. Oh, no. <laughs> There are people out there that don't read The Citizen, Jason. No, oh, no. How much do you want to fill that on? £200. No, pounds. On a more serious note, about this Alex Higgins ban, he's been banned for six months, obviously. He has, hasn't he? It's up in this referee and that. Ah. Um, also, it said that he's going to carry on. He's allowed to play in the World Championships, basically. Why is he allowed to play in the World Championships? Well, I, I, I mean, I've not heard the last report, but when I heard it on the news this evening... Mm. I was told, or the news told us, that he wasn't allowed. Exactly, that's what that's my point. He's not allowed to play in the World... No, sorry, that's not my point, I'll get it right in a minute. He is allowed to play in the World Championships, which starts at the end of this month. Why is that? Well, I was told that he's not. No, the latest thing I heard was that he was. All right, well, uh, the answer is I don't know. Because, <laughs> obviously, I don't... I'm not aware whether he can or he can't, so how can I be aware for the reasons for it? it. What reason have they given? 
I'm not sure. I mean, well, presumably when you were listening to the news report, well, because all the ones I've heard have said that he's, he's going to miss the World Championships, yeah, notwithstanding that. Up to this afternoon, I w turned on the news, and it said that he's got the six-month ban, but he is allowed to play in the World Championships, which started... And did they not go on to explain it? No, that's, that was it, then it changed the subject. Perhaps and you misheard. Possibly, but I doubt it. You doubt it? hearing is excellent. Well, it may well be excellent, but your mind may well not have been oh, elsewhere. No, it's a full mind, it's a full mind. Yes, a full mind, but a full mind can indeed be otherwise occupied, can it not? It can indeed, Alan. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Well. How do, Mike? Hello, Alan. Hello. Do you like Zig Zig Sputnik? I, to be frank, I've never heard anything of their music. you never but, heard them? No. Well, I might have done, but I've never been aware there was hearing them. Oh, uh, that's something to know. Well, you do now. Not very much, but you know a little more. How do, Andy? Hello? Hello.